Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. It's official. Trump just brought back big missing part of America after 51 years and made history. Although they were once on the brink of extinction after 51 years, there is one animal that is making a strong comeback during the Trump years: the bald eagle. It's being reported that since 2016 at least four states have experienced record-breaking numbers on bald eagle nests in the wild. Biologists are attributing this increase to the increase in public awareness and the 1972 pesticide ban that was implemented when natural bald eagle pairings were only in the few hundreds. Bald eagles are still threatened by illegal hunting, car accidents, lead poisoning and emerging neurological disease. But what seems to add to the irony of this increase in numbers is that Donald Trump actually contributed to the public awareness on bald eagles over the past few years when President Barack Hussein Obama was busy promoting bird-killing wind turbines. Wow, great statements from a man who just never seems to be wrong. Imagine if we were smart enough to get rid of all useless wind turbines? The California landscape would look a lot nicer, that's for sure. Here is more on this via U.S. Fish and Wildlife Services. How does the service determine if a species has recovered? The criteria spelled out in the recovery plans are used as a yardstick to measure whether the species is no longer endangered or threatened. But those factors are not the only criteria. The ESA identifies five threats that the service must evaluate to determine if delisting is appropriate. 1. The present or threatened destruction, modification, or curtailment of the species' habitat or range. 2. The overuse of the species for commercial recreational, scientific, or educational purposes. 3. Disease or predation. 4. The inadequacy of existing regulatory mechanisms, and 5. Any other natural or man-made factors affecting the continued existence of the species. The service determines whether recovery has been achieved by reviewing the best available scientific and commercial data available and evaluating the above threats to the species. Recovery plans may set population goals as a measure to indicate whether the threats have been reduced. The service considers these goals in determining whether the threats have been reduced sufficiently to warrant reclassification of the species, or in this case, delisting. A species is recovered when it is no longer in danger of extinction, or likely to become endangered within the foreseeable future throughout all or a significant portion of its range because the threats that led to the species listing have been reduced or eliminated. The bald eagle has met these requirements for removal from the list of endangered and threatened wildlife. How will we know that the bald eagle population will not decline without the protections of the Endangered Species Act? Concurrently with the delisting, the service made a draft post-delisting monitoring plan available and solicited public comment for 90 days. As required by the Endangered Species Act, the service will effectively monitor the species in cooperation with the states for a minimum of five years after delisting. The post-delisting monitoring plan provides a solid framework for surveying eagles and documenting eagle success after delisting. The monitoring plan is designed to track the population status of bald eagles in the lower 48 by sampling the number of breeding pairs, similar to the current monitoring methods. The monitoring plan is not intended to monitor causal factors such as circumstances that disturb bald eagles or their habitat, a term defined under Bald and Golden Eagle Protection Act. If, within the designated monitoring period, threats to bald eagles change or unforeseen events change the stability of the population, then it may be relisted under the ESA or the monitoring period may be extended. How will bald eagles be monitored after they are taken off the list of threatened and endangered species? The bald eagle post-delisting monitoring plan describes our eagles will be monitored. Based on the plan, the status of the bald eagle will be monitored by collecting data on occupied nests over a 20-year period with sampling events held once every five years starting in early 2009. Nest check monitoring conducted by the states over the past years will continue and census of area sample plots will be added. The area sample plots will be selected from eagle habitat across the contiguous 48 states based on known nesting density. The set of known occupied nests, list frame will be combined with the numbers of newly identified occupied nests from the area plot samples, area frame, to provide a dual frame estimate. The goal is to be able to detect a 25% change in occupied bald eagle nests on a national scale at five-year intervals. If declines are detected, the service's bald eagle monitoring team will work with the state agencies to investigate the cause of decline. Factors to be considered include natural population cycles, weather, productivity, contaminants, habitat changes and other stressors. The result of the investigation will determine if the population of bald eagles in the lower 48 states warrants expanded monitoring, 
additional research, and or resumption of federal protection under the Endangered Species Act. At the end of the 20-year monitoring program, the service will conduct a final review. In addition, information provided to the bald eagle monitoring team will be reviewed for potential population level impacts such as productivity, mortality, major habitat alterations, contaminants, and weather. Isn't it beautiful to see a spike in the bald eagle population at the very moment a new American nationalism started to rise? A nationalism where people rose up to vote for Donald Trump in droves in order to stop what socialists, globalists and the D.C. swamp had in store for us Americans? It's like a sign from God that the bald eagle is coming back at a time when America is coming back to its original splendor. A splendor we lost when we started letting politicians feather their nests as they hung us common Americans out to dry. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.